I started heroin, I was had to be between the ages of around 13 or 14 years old because I was in the seventh grade. When I looked in the mirror, I didn't see a pretty girl. I didn't see God loving me. I seen this guilt, shame. I seen all these other things. The streets <laughs> was actually killing me. <clears throat> it was a thing where as though I, I didn't have no way out. The last couple of years of me being out there on drugs, it was terrible. Going to jail, going to hospital, whatever, and just add on and on and on and on. It seemed like it never ends. I had to make up my mind one day, I don't want to do it anymore. So I, I started applying myself to this recovery thing and I started really, really taking me serious. My recovery was for my daughter. It wasn't for me. I wasn't important enough at that particular time. But as time went on, I became important enough. My self-esteem started going up. I started to believe in myself. It's like I complete everything now. Like if I don't complete, I don't stop until I do. So it's totally opposite from how I used to be when I was getting high because at one time it, it wasn't even about completing anything. The only thing I was worried about completing was using. It gives us an opportunity to say, hey, this may have been who I was, but I'm so much better than that. You know, from that, I learned that one addict is the best helper for another addict. I meet people where they are. I just let them know, okay, you did it, you messed up. Dust yourself off and let's move on. That's, that's what my job is as a peer recovery advocate, is to offer uh, hope. This has been a dream and a need for me for 20 years. All the way through my recovery, I dreamed of the day that people would stop stigmatizing people and understand that all of us has a story. And I dreamed that someday I was going to be able to help somebody like somebody helped me.